Hi everybody, this is Jeremy Larson with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services, Pen Fed Realty Texas, y'all. Okay, so this is what we came to Vegas to see. This is called a boxable. This is a folding house. It is a uh, 400 square foot roughly, um, basically like a studio apartment. And I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of it. There's a couple of people inside, but um, these are completely self-contained units. Um, there was a YouTube video that I watched, but I wanted to do my own video um, and add some commentary about fit and finish and that kind of bit. Um, so this wall of uh, accordion doors here is not part of the plan. That's just for marketing purposes here. This is actually the rear door that we came through. The front door, so to speak, would be over here where this sign is. So as you would come in, you've got a little living area. They've got this uh, uh, fire and ice little uh, electric heater. And that is your heat source for the unit. Um, these are um, a uh, laminate floor. Um, it's got a, a nice feel to it. They look good. Um, those are throughout. As this is a uh, project in process, there's some fit and finish issues here with the floors and there's a couple dings and there's a handle missing and things like that. But I'm gonna cut them some slack because they're really spending a lot of time and effort here to figure this out. Uh, we just got a tour of the factory. Um, this is the mini split air conditioning unit. So the way that these work is they basically come in a pallet that is shrunk wrap and it is uh, hoisted into place by a crane and then unfolded. And then they use these basic strips here. They use a gasket barrier essentially to fill in the gaps where the uh, house was uh, unfurled, if you will. Um, you know, I'm critical about floor plans. I, I see some areas where I would change some things. Um, just given the number of homes that I've designed. But function-wise, this is pretty good. You've got a nice living area here. You've got some options there on how you set that up. This is essentially a closet. You've got a wardrobe cabinet on either side. So there's a little bit of storage space here. Um, I think they've got this not quite the way that they're planning to sell them. But here's uh, long hanging here. Um, and it is lit. So the way that it was presented when I uh, looked into this is that this center island, if you will, that is the uh, closet, may be a, an upgrade, but at the moment they are including that. There's some drawers there. And then on the flip side of this, remember that there's the fire and ice heater. So typically there would be a window here and a window there in the living room, similar to that one there. Um, these are, nine foot ceilings inside. The uh, door in and out is European style. You do have a washer dryer combo there. Um, I don't know that that is included, but actually it is included. Um, kitchen's decent. Um, you do have the refrigerator that is included. You've got a narrower gauge uh, electric smooth top by Whirlpool, built-in microwave and hood. Um, there's a decent amount of cabinetry. Again, I may have sorted this a little differently. You've got a um, composite sink, double bowl, nice and big. It's nice to have the window above it. Dishwasher. Um, I do think that has a stainless interior. Luke pointed out, and I think he's right, these look like the appliances that uh, Whirlpool is manufacturing for Ikea. Um, they've got a latency Susan here, and then they've got a rollout um, hidden storage there. Again, a couple things I would have done differently, um, but uh, I think it's pretty, pretty stinking cool. They've got the TV position there. I probably would fit it into this island somewhere. You do have a peninsula table here. And then 
shower there, window up above, sink, hello, do you like my orange? And then um, you've got the vanity, not wild about vessel sinks, but there you have it. And of course they do not want you using the facilities in here. Um, they'll catch up with the fit and finish. Like this is kind of an odd space here. Um, they've got a little waste basket thing back there, but um, it does have drawers. You know, for um, a secondary residence or an affordable home, this is not a bad deal at all. These are $49,500 and they are taking reservations. So thought that was pretty cool. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.